We take our responsibility seriously at Pantex. We are serious about our responsibility to the security of our country. We are serious about our responsibility to American citizens. And we are serious about making Pantex a more efficient business that stretches each dollar to the limit. In recent years, the federal government has been urging contractors to tighten up operations, spend less money, operate more like private industry. The nation's final assembly facility for nuclear weapons, located near Amarillo, Texas, Pantex plant, operated by Mason Hanger Silas Mason Company Incorporated, is serious about their commitment to operate more efficiently. They are so serious that they have implemented an innovative but logical manufacturing plan, MRP2, or Manufacturing Resource Planning. MRP2 has improved production control and led to substantial cost savings. Richard Norman, Oliver White Associate and President of R.L. Norman Incorporated, a Texas-based MRP2 consulting firm. My role at Mason Hanger has been primarily to assist them in avoiding the pitfalls of MRP2 implementation by following a known and tested proven path and developing an organization of strength. They've utilized a massive education program including inside and outside courses, thus transferring accountability to their users and becoming a more competitive company in the Department of Energy Complex. They've learned and successfully implemented MRP2 and become able to manage their resources, including materials, people, money, and machinery. They've learned how to schedule their inside and outside shops effectively and thus become a more competitive force in the industry today. Manufacturing, to operate efficiently, needs a great deal of planning. Take this swing set, for example. When the manufacturer built this swing set, he made sure he had a strong top bar, one that was just the right length, four legs, three swings, one slide, everything necessary to build it. And he made sure that everything met specifications. If he didn't have everything he needed, he ordered them before he scheduled production so that production could proceed efficiently. Manufacturing this swing set can be related to our work at Pantex, only our work is much more complex. Weapons we build could have as many as 400 parts, and to have a logical progression in assembling or disassembling those weapons, we need to ask some basic questions of MRP2. One, what parts do we need for our project? Two, what parts do we have in stock and what needs to be ordered? Three, when do we need these parts? And four, how many people do we need to do the work? Each of these elements needs to be in place at the proper time for our work to proceed smoothly. But of course, we don't assemble just one weapon at a time. Mason and Hanger regularly assembles and disassembles numerous weapons, so you can imagine the complexity of the challenge. Now, I'm sure you're wondering why we were not already doing each of these things. Our business is really very complex, and you will see as we go along that we simply didn't have control of many of these areas. We could not always schedule our work the way we would have liked. So, at Mason & Hanger, we view this government request for greater efficiency as an opportunity to look at restructuring and organizing so that things would be done in a much more logical order. Our goal was to put us in an action mode rather than one of reaction. Pantex began to look for ways to integrate all the systems that needed to be a part of the manufacturing planning process. After a lot of research, followed by a cost-benefit study, we decided to implement MRP2. MRP2 is an expansion of material requirements planning, a management plan that originated in the 1960s. The new plan includes capacity planning, shop floor control, purchasing, and the financial functions. In simple terms, it is a master plan for manufacturing, engineering, and finance. It's basic, it's logical, and it helps control cash flow, inventories, labor, and material purchases. It requires all levels of management to consider the impact of their decisions. It is fully integrated between departments and returns manufacturing to the basics. MRP2 at Pantex does many things. One, it improves scheduling of orders. Two, it helps us utilize our facilities, machines, and people better. Three, it helps reduce overtime because we are more efficient. Four, it helps reduce the need for premium freight because we are planning better. Five, it requires that inventory records be at least 95% accurate. Six, it requires that bills of materials be at least 98% accurate. Seven, 
It improves communications between contractors, suppliers, and Pantex. Eight, it reduces paperwork. We had no idea when we began that this project would become the largest, most intensive effort ever undertaken by this plant. In fact, MRP2 is the most comprehensive project any manufacturer can attempt. When we began, people were saying, you can't do it, it won't work here, we're too unique. But we've done it, and we've realized substantial savings. But the savings is greater than just money. Teamwork and efficiency are at the heart of MRP2. People work less overtime. Less overtime means fewer tired employees and fewer chances for error. Now that we have MRP2, I have job paperwork and the actual materials for each order before I need to start my job. Any shortages have been taken care of so I don't have the frustrations of chasing parts we don't have. I'm better able to concentrate on my job. One of the greatest benefits MRP2 has given us was to require us to stand back and ask, what types of routings and bills and material do we need? We can no longer continue to structure our bills and routings just because that's the way we've always done it. Our shop floor routings and bills and material now represent the way products are actually planned, scheduled, and built. We also looked very closely at inventory records. Accurate inventory records are essential to operating a fiscally responsible business. If you are unable to find parts because they are misplaced and are reordering unnecessarily, you're wasting money. We redesigned the Pantex warehouse areas and forced control over inventory. It was money well spent. Our inventory records are more accurate and we are now able to get the right material to the right place at the right time. The computer is at the core of MRP2. Today's computer technology makes MRP2 possible for large companies. The computer allows us to answer what-if questions, track inventory and monitor and adjust scheduling by quickly manipulating large volumes of data. Pentex has approximately 50,000 parts and hundreds of thousands of product structures. With those numbers, you can see that MRP2 could not have been accomplished at a facility the size of Pentex 15 to 20 years ago simply because the technology did not exist. Of course, complex computers require trained personnel to run them. But at Mason & Hanger, before we train our personnel, we educate them. We educate them on the goals of MRP2 and explain how their jobs fit into the total picture. This helps them buy into the project. I have access to all the information I need when I need it. I feel I'm more effective at my job because I can schedule my day better. I can check the inventory balance and the status of jobs being planned for my work center. Only after education are employees trained in the specifics of the computer system. An ongoing training program keeps data entry sharp and helps solve problems before they become crises. We feel that employees must not only be well trained, but should share commitment in the project to do their jobs most effectively. We order floor stock materials through our software system. We enter the order number into the system and the material is delivered right to my work area without ever having to complete a form. In fact, no paperwork is ever generated. The first step to implementing MRP2 is for top management to understand it and really want it. We had to have that commitment from the top. After getting that commitment, we identified our project team and educated them. Getting MRP2 off the ground was a challenge. We had to deal with a number of problems. For obvious security reasons, the nuclear weapons industry maintains a high level of secrecy, even within departments. Many people at Pantex had no idea how their work fit into the big picture. This, of course, is typical in many manufacturing facilities, but was even more pronounced at Pantex. Another frequent problem that we had to begin to control is also common throughout the manufacturing industry, and that's rush orders. In manufacturing, rush often doesn't really mean rush. We discovered that employees were having to work overtime to meet rush jobs that, in fact, really weren't. And when you are in a hurry, your expenses multiply. All your planning goes out the window. The employees and machines you have scheduled can't be used most efficiently, causing expenses to skyrocket. Parts have to be special ordered, and premium freight is out of sight. 
overtime leads to employee fatigue and threatens quality. And priority shipping adds to the expense. This really isn't very different in the weapons industry than in any other major manufacturing field. The American automobile industry, for example, spent more than $100 million on premium freight in one year. With known problems to be faced, it was essential to recruit talented key people from each of the essential areas to be part of the project team. But probably more importantly, the team needs to consist of can-do people, people who have the ability to capture and share a vision, people who can sell that vision to others. Project team members also need to have the tenacity to stick with the project, since studies show that implementing MRP2 in government installations can take four to five years. We knew when we began MRP2 that it would be challenging, but Mason and Hanger has benefited tremendously. We pulled together as a team, we vastly improved communications, we have identified talented, aggressive new leadership, we have a happier workforce that is better informed by management and working less overtime, and we're doing it all on a leaner budget. Though we are proud of our substantial monthly savings at Pantex, we still see real potential to save even more money and operate more efficiently. To reach our full potential, we must do two things. One, develop an effective relationship with our suppliers. And two, establish a more stable production schedule. Currently, Mason & Hanger has little control over the items received into the warehouse from suppliers. We don't order them, nor do we schedule their arrival. Therefore, we don't know when we're going to get specific parts. If we could establish a relationship with our suppliers such that we order what we need to be delivered when we need it, we could reduce costs even more. Changes to the production schedule inside the critical zone also keep MRP2 from being as cost-effective as possible. The shop floor is directly affected because manufacturing plans must be changed. Last-minute changes in production plans often means that parts were ordered needlessly and must now be stored. Materials planners cannot anticipate the need for parts, which leads to more rush orders and premium freight. If we could significantly reduce changes to the production schedule, additional savings are certain. Even though we are saving a great deal of money each month, when establishing a relationship with suppliers is combined with reduced production schedule changes, we have the potential for greater savings. What's next for Mason & Hanger? We are extremely proud of our accomplishments with MRP2, but we still have goals. I would like to see Mason & Hanger test the waters and see what we could really accomplish if we could establish a relationship with our suppliers that allows us to match our needs with their production schedules. I get really excited when I think of the savings that we could realize by applying MRP2 across the entire complex to all of the government contractors. Just think, no losses in productivity or quality, but components delivered for significantly less money. That potential is very appealing. As government contractors, we take our responsibilities seriously. We want to deliver a quality product at a fair price. It's not an obligation Mason & Hanger takes lightly. As you can see, we are enthusiastic about our success with MRP2. Top performance has always been our goal. With that goal and the tools we now have, we are rising to the top of our industry.